How's it going, YouTube? Dan the Plastic Man here. I hope you guys are doing well. Time for another review, and as you can tell by the title, here it is. High-grade DOM test type from Gundam The Origin. Now, when I f uh, found out about this kit, I knew I had to have it. I am not a fan of the DOM myself, but when I saw what they had done with the design of this thing compared to the original DOM, it was an insta-buy, especially after I had such a fun time with the Black Tristar Zaku 2, which, speaking of, just for a quick size comparison, here it is. So you can see they're about the same kind, they're about the same height. The only reason mine is a little bit taller in the head is because I added on this shark commander fin just because. I gotta admit, if I could just... Is there any way to get this thing looking as sinister as that Zaku? Not right now, sadly. I'll have to work on it and see if I can't have some kind of epic, gruesome twosome kind of pose going with these two guys. But he's not the focus of this video. This guy is. So, first and foremost, articulation. The head will do a funky chicken, and you can spin it 360 degrees. I will warn you guys, this piece right here, the red piece for the faceplate, there's two. There's the snout, and then there's the typical Dom faceplate. This broke on me when I was trying to clean up nub, clean up nubs. Nub cleaning, of all things, made this break. Now, I'm not going to show you where, because if you if you can't see it, why should I tell? I will say, though, that there are three points of connection with the clear plastic plate underneath this mask, which is what helped it stay in the condition that it's in right now and not look like it's broken. So just be very careful. Otherwise, I would be pulling this off and showing you guys that the eye can move around in there, but with a broken mask, I'm not going to do it. So with shoulder articulation, they will come out like so, and they will, as you can see, rotate slightly to cover the chest. Not as much as the Zaku, and I think that's just because of the design of the chest plate. This bazooka is getting a little annoying, but the arm will rotate 360 at the shoulder, 360 beneath the shoulder. We'll get a nice double bend out of the elbow, call that a 165, and the wrist is just going to rotate and flop around. Well, piece of the backpack came off, what holds the heat saber. The torso, as we showed, you can do this with the chest. Now, if I went with the standard Zaku chest cover, I could probably get away with more of a... Uh, excuse me, guys. I could probably get away with more of a uh, crunch motion here, but I just loved the way the goof-like, well, the goof prototype cockpit looked here, so that's why I went with that. The torso, left to right, not going to go full 360. Lots of front to back, though. Lots of front to back. Skirts, one and two, three and four. The back skirt is solid. Now, note the track in there. As with the Zaku, you can pull the leg, the hips forward for more leg posability, which will come that far forward and that far back at this forwardmost point. Sliding back, you don't get very much back motion on the leg. The knee, we get a nice double bend, and there is some exposed kind of semi-sliding armor gimmick. I'm just going to leave that off right now because I keep knocking it off. And then the foot great range of motion. Full 360, broken ankles, up the wazoo with this thing. And he can just be firmly planted on the ground. No problems whatsoever. So, he only comes with two accessories. This mother of a bean bazooka, which he's holding very well. I will, I will admit, he's actually holding it very well. It's just rattling a little bit. That's a slight annoyance to me. But you can, I haven't really experimented with any kind of dynamic posing like what they show in the manual, but once, if I decide to put this guy on an action base, I might, well, I've got a, got a couple minutes, let's see what we can come up with as far as a, just your typical quick, generic 
dynamic pose. See what we can come up with. Hold that just about there. Yeah, I mean, a couple, really just, I just did a little squash and there it is. Some, something of a dynamic pose, not a great one, mind you. Get him up in the air, you can probably go crazy. And then the other accessory is this annoying heat rod that's just sitting right here. I might just pull it off, but at the same time, it does... Hello, you're not supposed to do that. Okay, nothing's broken. It just came off the peg for some reason. So, there's that. Okay, and that is the Dom Test Type from Gundam The Origin. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. The last Dom I built was the Dom R35, and this trounces that kit from here to high heaven. So, get it. You won't be disappointed. It will look great beside, like, the Char Zaku and both of the Black Tristar Zakus and the Goofs, the Goof prototypes. I am so looking forward to what else they're going to give us from the Xeon side in this line. I almost wonder if we're going to get a Gelgoog. And I know it's from 0080, but if we could get something like this for a camphor, that would just be spectacular. Bandai, are you listening? I know you're not, so why do I even bother? But anyways, I hope you guys liked the review. If you did, leave me a like, subscribe to me, leave me some comments. I love reading them and getting to know you guys. And let's keep the community growing, guys. I love doing this for you. So take care of yourselves. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.